I've decided to make a um, sort of a vintage camera sculpture um, using all the parts I got from Shane uh, the, for the actual case of the, the camera sculpture. I'm going to use this wooden box. Uh, this will act as a flash and maybe this will end. So I'm not sure. But that's what I want to make. Just a little sculpture that w someone can sit up on a shelf. Um, so I want to try to use only these parts apart from uh, maybe some additional screws. And as far as this, I wanted to stain this wood, but I want to do it um, f for free. So I think I have an idea what I'm going to use to um, use for a stain. And to get the stain that I want, I'm not going to go to the store. I'm going to go up into the cupboard and see what I have. That's what I was looking for. Beats. Okay, let's see how they taste. It's a nutritious snack and also we have some wood stain now left over. You like them, right, Ty? Mm -hmm. You don't like them, Alex? Not really. You don't have to eat them. Kind of tastes like olives. Um, I love them. So, I've never done this before, but I just had to, was thinking of what can I use that doesn't cost anything um, as a stain. So, I just thought of this. So let me try it out. So I, I'm just going to do this part for now, let it dry, and then um, I'll just have it in this plastic plastic uh, little tub here, because beet juice is pretty nasty if you get it on your hands and you don't want to get it on your clothes. Um, so we'll let it dry and see what happens.
Okay, well, this was um, part of the vintage sander that I took apart. Um, the handle I'm not going to be using for this project, but I bolted the um, this lamp that had that uh, Mazda bulb in there. I I bolted that onto here, and so this will be the flash for the camera sculpture. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I will um, screw this onto here, and then I'm going to just decorate this with all the old keys on the front. And so this, I'm going to leave the back open so it looks like, you know, the mechanics of the um, camera. And I'd, I'd like to add if I can find the right one, um, add a little music box um, into this just so it's a functional functional piece. So this is what I got so far. I'm gonna play around with different colors um, since it's predominantly silver, silver color, aluminum color, I was trying a little bit of um, silver rub and buff on the keys. Um, I'm not sure. I might even paint them black. I, I don't even know yet. I'm going to mess around with that off camera. But basically the project, the construction is done, except for um, the uh, possible... Um, music box, but that's that's what I have so far. Okay, I found the um, music box that I had. I'm gonna mount it so that. Actually, I don't know what you call this. This is the uh, music player from a music box. Um, so anyway. Uh, this was on a broken figurine that was in the trash. So I'm going to mount it so that this is on the outside and you wind it from the inside. But this is interesting to me anyway. The vibrations, how you, you can hear, if you can hear how quiet that is and just by touching the, the box. It's interesting to me how the sound vibrates through this. Anyway, I'll, I'll put this in right now and then it should be done. Well, I thought I'd come back out where this build started um, on the deck opening the package to show what I came up with. Um, I'm still looking for a little kind of like a viewfinder there. I may add it if I if I don't find something that's appropriate. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, the uh, music box here thing didn't work exactly as I liked because I wasn't able to um, to drill the hole through there. There wasn't enough room to wind it, so I just have it on the outside like that which is what I wanted to have so you could see some movement with this. So all vintage parts and um, I'm going to give this away to someone who comments on the video. If you're um, interested in winning this just leave a comment. Subscribe and leave a comment on the video. Um, I will try to uh, ship internationally. I'll try. I'll see you know how expensive it is so if you're from overseas still still leave a comment and enter um, I want to try to do this uh, drawing with tube buddy so like uh, automatically pick someone um, so yeah leave a comment and a like and I'll after I reach 500 subscribers I'll give it about two weeks 
um, allow people to comment and then I'll do a drawing video uh, probably incorporate into some other type of video also so, there she is